What if I were to tell you I know Rory's secret? As a matter of fact, it's the same secret that almost every professional has, and I'm going to share it with you now. Playing golf like a professional will probably take you 10,000 swings with every club, but striking the ball like a professional can be accomplished by focusing on just six inches. Your club face and your club path through the first six inches of impact make all the difference in the world, and the professionals know this. So now we're 30 seconds into the video, and I'm going to give you the big secret. The key to golf is hand press, meaning your hands always have to be in front of the ball while striking it. We're going to take a look at Rory, who arguably is one of the best ball strikers on the planet. What we're going to find is that his hands are always ahead of the club head. From the time he starts his swing, his hands are in front of the club head. Meaning from here, his hands are already in front of the ball and the club head is behind. This may seem inconsequential and it's often overlooked by amateurs and club professionals. We often hear about the one piece takeaway, but what's not mentioned is that the club head stays behind the hands. If you follow the shadow of Rory's club, you'll notice that it's parallel to his body shadow and the sun is directly down line from him. Rory's one piece takeaway leads him to another set position. For most golfers, this position should be straight down range. That arm should be locked straight and pointing towards your target. You may be slightly left or right of the target depending on if you're playing a draw or a cut. Notice that Rory's hands are already set and the club vertical like a flagpole. Professional golfers have a larger range of motion than most average golfers. Many golfers have difficulty completing their turn. This typically isn't because they lack flexibility. Instead, it's because they lack the understanding of, of what the knees need to do to complete the turn. Turn means opening the hips. Opening the hips is accomplished by bringing the left lead knee forward while allowing the right rear knee to come back slightly. Amateur golfers typically sway during their swing, but professional golfers bring those knees forwards and backwards. As you can see, this action allows Rory to go even further. At this point, it's important to notice that Rory's back is now pointed towards the target. During the golf sequence, we always have something pointed towards the target. That's very important to remember. The downswing sequence is going to move him through multiple positions where body parts are pointed at the target. Rory drives his weight down and forward without passing the outside of the lead foot. If he were to pass that lead foot, he would be swaying. Now in the blink of an eye, Rory is going to pass through multiple positions. First, the arm down the line position, and then the butt of the club at the ball position, and finally the magic position where the hands pass the ball before the club head. While the impact position is by far the most important position, there are things that happen here that generate power. First is the lag position and holding this V position. Common amongst all the long hitters is the arm and the club create a V halfway through the downswing. Releasing this lag is where power comes from and it is also where most golfers have difficulty. And herein lies the impact secret. Once the hand past the ball, you can release this power as fast as you like because the club head can't turn over until it catches up with your hands. You got it. Your hands are already past the ball. In these last couple of frames, you can see that in less than a hundredth of a second, Rory's club head has almost caught up with his hands. To generate the kind of power and speed that Rory and Tiger and countless other professionals generate, quite a few mechanics are worked on tirelessly. The thing, by understanding the simple key positions, the other mechanics evolve as sort of a natural evolution of the swing. Here you can see the forward knee and the back knee switching positions, causing the hip rotation. This is a sequence cue. Rotation of the hips pulls the hands down into the end of the lag position. From here, a little bit of patience is exercised. Rory allows his hands to get to the ball. And then in the blink of an eye, he releases all of the energy. And everything is still in line. 
because his hands passed the ball before the club head could catch up. So if we redraw the impact lines, the ball is still straight down in front of him, but his arms are at that locked straight position that creates a press where the hands pass the ball before the club head. Virtually every pro you wish to emulate does this. That's what makes them powerful and consistent, which is what amateurs lack. Different professionals have different key points throughout their swing, but they all share this impact position. Now, let's take a look at my swing so I can compare some of these key points. Keep in mind, I am not a professional. First, the press position. As I take the club away, I try to make sure I make it through most of the positions that are necessary. Here, I'm in the arm down the line position. My left knee moves forward slightly and my right rear back to allow me to finish my turn and set my arms. My first swing flaw is apparent here as I make a slight move over the top. Now I'll pass through some of these sequence positions. After reaching the lag position, I try to exercise patience and allow my hands to reach the press position. If I achieve this before striking the ball, I'm able to hold this position through impact. And then here you see what I would consider poor posture. The drill that you're going to use to practice these positions is primarily going to be your alignment stick pressed into the ground and leaning slightly forward at the angle of your club shaft. To accomplish this type of ball striking, the drill is fairly simple. Step one is place your alignment stick in the ground, leaning towards your target and towards you at the ideal angle for your hand press. Mirror your club shaft to the alignment stick at address. This is one of those things that would seem like common sense, but I watch club professionals and people claiming to be professionals all the time, and they do not start with the press position. And as a side note, they do not make the pro tour. Try to maintain this press and hand position through the backswing. Essentially, this is the one piece takeaway. Now try to return to the impact position at the end of your swing. You can probably make these changes to your impact position in just a couple of range sections. The lag and release will be a little more difficult. I hope to have a drill video that further explains the drills to accomplish this in the next few days. I hope you found this informative. Please comment in the section below if you have any questions or any arguments or just want to say hi.